Yes, Carter's life. What is up, guys? Behind me, I have two super tiny cars. And all over the internet, I've been seeing this trend of people buying this tiny mini truck from China sending it over and doing reviews on it. And it seems like some people think it's cool, some people it's not. Long before the Chinese mini truck had got popular, I've been daily driving these tiny Japanese vehicles and I've done so much with them. The tiny car that started it all for me was the Joy Pop. This thing is a full family van and I have a lot of memories in this thing. Some good and some not so good. This right here is the world's smallest van, and it's so small that it wasn't even for sale in the United States. In fact, just for me to have this vehicle here, I had to fly halfway across the globe all the way to Japan to purchase this van, just so we can film today's video. So let's have some fun. This thing is so small and so light, you can literally pick it up and flip it over. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. To help put this into perspective, this is a small ATV, and the van is is honestly not a whole lot bigger. Unlike the ATV, this thing is a car, which means this thing is street legal! Woohoo! I'm gonna be spending the next 24 hours in this tiny car. I'm gonna have 10 minutes to grab whatever materials that I want to try to survive in this thing overnight and be back in 10 minutes. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, I lose and my timer starts at three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, Matt, should we steal it? Nah. Let's have a time. One of the hardest parts of any 24-hour challenge is the food. So I'm gonna be filling this Timur backpack up with all kinds of foods and drinks to help me get through the night. Starting with some waters. Gonna need a lot of this. I'm gonna get thirsty. I'm gonna need some popcorn. Some of my favorite snacks. Gummies, cereal bar, little bites, Oreos. Woo! And of course, some cereal for the morning. I got my food, and as long as I don't forget this backpack, I think I should be good to go for this challenge. All right, man, I'm driving. Ready? All right, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Driver's seat. What? Wait, wait. Hold on. There's no I steering wheel. <laughs> How did you get in this thing? Can you even fit? Dude, you're way too tall for this little I thing. Even, I can even close the door. Oh. I'll just go for it. We gotta go quick. Carter's coming. Go yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, Carter? <laughs> what? Isn't that the van? Well, someone's stealing it. What the heck? Yo, get back here. What the heck, guys? Where are they going? Where is the tiny car? Oh, what the heck? Let's go off-roading, let's do it. Hit some trails. Let's hit some jumps. Yeah. Oh my, someone is stealing it. It's so small. Okay, I gotta catch up. I need a vehicle. I need to chase him down. And here we go. We're driving down the sidewalk. Look at that, fits perfectly. No way. <laughs> Woo! Oh Throw my gosh. Leg. Dude, this is like a little cliff. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm tipping over. Dude, we're on two wheels right now. Oh my gosh. Dude, you're pushing the limits here. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. I'm pretty sure it went this way. I don't see him anywhere. What the heck? As you can see, Matt and I are wearing the new blue Team Rar hoodies. Yeah. These hoodies are live right now on TeamRar.com. You can go get yours. You should join Team Blue like us. Where did that tiny van go? What the heck? I see the monster truck over there. That's easy to find, but this tiny van is literally playing hide and seek with me right now. And if I don't get in this van soon, my 10 minute timer is gonna run out and I'm gonna lose this 24 hour challenge before it even starts. We're going right onto that bridge right there. I think we can squeeze it, here we go. Okay, Matt, hold your breath. <laughs> Tuck in your belly, we can squeeze it. Oh my gosh, it fits. It barely fits. Oh my gosh, guys, there it is. It's going across the bridge. How does it even fit up there? If they fall into the water, I'm gonna be so upset. Yo, guys, come back, wait up. The 10 minute timer is over and I literally barely made it. No thanks to Matt and Andrew who tried to steal this thing. But let me give you an entire tour of the inside of this tiny van, which is called a Suzuki Joy Pop. And yes, that's actually what it's called. Look, it's literally called a Joy Pop. My favorite feature of this entire car is that the seats turn into beds. Check this out. By laying down the front seats all the way flat, the rear seats literally lay flat as well, turning it into a place where you can literally sleep. And therefore, I believe that I could easily live in here for like 24 hours straight, guys. It turns into a bed and you can lay down in the world's smallest van. It's, it's insane. This is gonna be so easy. It doesn't just have one full bed. It actually has two. And because the driver's seat folds down too, you can drive the car while you lay down and get some rest. Woo! <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah. Oh, I'm literally driving and sleeping at the same time. Hang on, Matt, don't fall out. Yo, I'm literally laying down driving a car. What the heck? This is so sick. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. That doesn't seem like the safest thing we've ever done. This car also has a rock and sound system. Is on the radio? I think so. Is she singing about me? Okay, hang on. You know, let's just, we don't need it. Let's just turn that off. We don't need any music. That's fine. I'm just now realizing that the trunk of this van is empty because I left every single thing that I wanted in the house, including my food and water and pillows and blankets to keep me warm. So I need to go get that stuff somehow. And I think I have a plan. So hop in, Matt. Let's go. Matt, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. I feel like I'm driving a van right now. Hang on. I need to get my supplies or I'm not going to survive the night. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure I left it. Yes, there it is, guys. All of my food and snacks is in that orange Team Rar backpack. Matt, get that for me. I need it. Matt, it's right there. Pick it up. I need it. Yeah, that's it. I need it. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt, I need it. What are you doing? No, Matt, come back. Okay, Matt is not going to help me. Then I need to go in there and get it. Oh, there's Andrew. Yo, Andrew. Hey, Carter. I need help. Yeah, this thing is sick. Yeah, it's nice and warm in the house if you want to come in. You know I'm not leaving this van. All you gotta do is come out of the van. You can come inside. No, Andrew, I never lose a challenge, and I will stay in here for 24 hours. Guys, I don't know why Matt and Andrew are trying to tempt me so bad to lose this challenge. I barely even just started. I'm like less than an hour in, but I have a plan. If they're not gonna help me get the supplies from in the house to me, then I'm gonna bring me and the van into the house. Let's see if this fits. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, I'm moving. I'm literally driving in my house. This is insane. Move out of my way, high beams. Look how close, I'm gonna run over some cushions. Get that toolbox out of here, Matt. I'm trying to drive here. The living room. I'm trying to drive. My supplies, oh my gosh. Matt and Andrew weren't gonna give it to me, so I came in and got it. This is awesome. I got some pillows. This is gonna be great. As long as I don't touch the ground, woo, I should be good. Technically have not left the van yet, and I stop trying to move me, Andrew. Andrew, get out of here. All right, move, I need to go get my food now. Matt and Andrew being so annoying, but I'm gonna win this challenge. I feel like they're channeling their inner Liz or something. Like Liz isn't even here right now, but I feel like they're acting like Liz. I don't know guys, comment down below. What's going on with Matt and Andrew? Is it Liz in disguise or something? <gasps> to the kitchen to get my food. Beep, 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 beep. I can't believe I'm driving this in the house, guys. Literally down the hallway. Oh, I just ran over something. Is that a speed bump in my house? Uh, Gosh. And just like that, guys, I think I just made it all the way in the house to where my food is. If my calculations are correct, guys, we should be basically in the kitchen. <gasps> and my food is right here. Unbelievable. Nobody would help me, but I got all of my supplies. We should be good. One thing I didn't pack was an ice cold drink, but that's okay. The fridge is right there and I'll just drive to it. Now, if I can just reach out without touching the ground, I should be good to go. I've never driven to the fridge in my own house, but there's a first for everything, especially here on my channel. As long as I open the door carefully, don't touch the ground. Ooh, they're so far. Don't fall, Carter. Ooh, there it is, I got it. Yes. I got my lemon LaCroix. And you're still not touching. This is literally the best 24 hour challenge ever. Now get out of my van. I got driving to do. All right, guys, I got everything I need. I just gotta go find a nice campsite to park this thing for the night. Basically becoming a professional in this thing. Yeah. My drink, my only cold drink fell off the dash. Did you spill some pop in the joy pot? I did. I'm setting up camp here tonight. This is gonna be the best spot to go camping in a van inside my house. Things have worked out really well and now it is time to eat. I got some marshmallows in my bag. And one crazy thing is that all of these Japanese micro vans come equipped with a skewer. I'm not sure why, but they all have one that's underneath the seat. And that is gonna work out really well for me when I extend it and can roast a marshmallow. Oh Without touching the ground or leaving the van, I can roast marshmallows inside the van, inside my house. That's looking really good. Mmm, no, that's a good marshmallow. This is literally the best campsite I've ever seen. Mm. 
I'm working on getting the perfect spot. I want to have a view of the sun when I wake up and also the heat from the fire to keep me warm because I can't run the engine all night. I think this should be the perfect spot because I have a beautiful view of the lake out this way. And if I go out the back, I should have the fire view. That and yes. Oh, this is actually even better than before. I can sit like this and get warm heat from the fire. Guys, I'm easily gonna be able to survive the night, which was supposed to be the hardest part, which I think now is the easiest because I'm back inside my own house. And I got uh, all the supplies I could ever need. Easy. Well, at this point in the challenge, there's not much left to do other than to make myself comfortable, sit back, relax, close the door for some privacy, of course, and not let anyone bother me. I can see the fireplace from here and out this way. Guys, check it out. Matt is over there on the kitchen table working and I haven't even left there. There's other maps. Matt, give me some privacy. I think it's gonna be easy, guys. I literally have so much stuff. This is so comfortable. Woohoo! I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning, guys. It's 6 a.m. Let's see if Carter's still in this van. Oh, there he is. Look, he's still asleep. He made it the whole night. I gotta say, I think Carter was cheating. It's not fair that he was in this van, but he was also inside of the house. That doesn't No. Uh, Matt, I got an idea. Let's push him outside. Hey, let's open the door first. Get the door open. <gasps> Whatever you do, don't wake him. Okay. Ready? Okay. Why isn't it going? Wait. It's stuck. Oh, the brake is on, guys. Let's go undo the brake. Here we go. Okay, be quiet. There we go. Okay. Is it rolling? Let's see if it rolls. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Okay, count of three, two, one. Why? Oh, oh, it's going. It's going, guys. Here it goes. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> I found in the lake, Carter. Yo! He's rolling really fast. Oh. oh my gosh, they try to push me out of bed. Andrew, what the heck? He can't wake me up like that. He woke up just in time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I can't believe he saved it. Looks like he's back out in the cold though. Oh my gosh, guys, what the heck? They literally pushed me out of the house and they're just walking away. They're so proud. It's freezing out here too. That's gotta be one of the craziest ways I've ever woke up with a car moving while I'm inside. Didn't go into the lake, which was nice. Let's see if she'll start up. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> did I leave a light on or did they drain the battery? Did you guys drain my battery? I didn't do anything with it. You guys pushed me out of the house and now my car won't start. I'm gonna be stuck out here in the rain. That's what you get for leaving the lights on. I didn't leave the lights on. I was inside my house. The battery is dead. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I am exhausted waking up like that. But there's only a couple more hours to finish this challenge. If I can just stick it out here without touching the ground, then I should be good to go. Matt, I need your help. I need you to give me a push. Tell you and Andrew, you I'll owe push it to you. Me. I'm not pushing you. Yeah, Andrew's already pushed it, so I need him to push me to get this thing started. I can't be stuck out here in the freezing cold. The heat doesn't even work. I'm gonna freeze. I'm not gonna finish the challenge. Okay, fine, Carter. If you buy me more plushies from TMR.com. Here's one. You can have this one. This one's my favorite. Yes, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, here we go. I gotta work the clutch. You gotta do it quick before you hit the leg. Yes, it worked. I'm off and running again, baby. Let's go. Woo! Have fun in the rain, losers. Did he just call us losers, Andrew? Yeah, for real. We didn't deserve that. We are not losers. That was great. So I'm off running in my little van. Now I can finally get the engine warmed up, turn the heat on, and I can survive this cold morning out here at the new Team Bar house. Matt and Andrew have been so annoying throughout this entire challenge. And I feel like if they sabotage me one more time, I'm not gonna be able to finish this thing. So I'm gonna drive to a different part of the property and try to hide out. But I'm gonna win this challenge and that's because I wanna win it for you guys. I love making these videos, but I don't like failing because then it's not as interesting to watch. I wanna give it my all and actually stay in this cart. Oh my gosh. I, I need to hide. They're literally trying to follow me. <gasps> That's them. That's Matt and Andrew. Why are they going this way? They're going to the exact same spot I was thinking about going. I wonder if they can hear me. I have less than an hour I need to survive in this car. And I swear they are trying to sabotage me once and for all, guys. I need to survive in this thing. Hang on, we're going for a ride. Hello? I don't see anyone in there. It's so weird. Guys, they're in the garage where my Lambo is usually parked. 
cars. Guys, Matt and Andrew have already taken my other Lambo and crashed it. I can't let that happen again. Oh, not so stop, stop. Not to mention, Andrew literally crashed the world's biggest RC car. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! Guys, if they get anywhere near this Lambo, I think they're gonna crash it. Let's not crash this one. <laughs> oh. What did you do? Oh my gosh, you weren't supposed to do that. Don't let Carter know. Quick, we gotta go. Whoop. All right. Where's the um the button to do donuts? I don't know. Hmm. Let's just push all the buttons. Yeah. Whoa. Here we go, guys. Man, this thing is really bouncy. Okay, wait, <laughs> let's go. Take off quick. Oh my gosh, guys, the door is open. Now is my chance to get in the garage. All right, let's go. Hang on. Woohoo! Oh, it's gonna be bumpy. Matt, Andrew, you better not steal my Lambo. Guys, at least now I can block him from leaving. All right, and we are in the garage. Uh, where did it go? Oh, whoa, it's slippery in here. Where did they take it? This Carter, is unbelievable. Carter, Andrew, Matt, Carter, 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 it's what? already been 24 hours. You're done. I'm done? You won the challenge. I hit the 24 hour mark? Yeah, it's been 24 hours. I can leave this little van? Yeah. You're saying I can touch the ground? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes! Woo! Okay, I cannot believe it, guys. I have literally survived 24 hours in that thing, but just barely. And where is my Lambo? Matt, what did you do? This is the second Lambo you've broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. This is a bad idea, guys. I know both of these don't look like much, but they are incredible off-roaders. So let's go put them to the test. All right, guys, here, here it is. We're stuck. Like you can see, I accidentally backed up. I didn't see this deep creek here. It's deep. This deep, this creek is quite deep. We're like sitting on the frame. Not a lot of pressure on the front wheel. Oh, this tire is even deeper. Oh, it's so deep. So we need to shove something under there is what you're thinking. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna go ahead and park it here for the night. <laughs> we'll come back. We're going out to dinner. We're gonna come back, but Matt's coming back. Uh, he hasn't been at the team of our house for about a week now. So he's gonna come back. He hasn't seen this yet because we literally got it this morning. So he's gonna see it here for the first time and he'll have a plan of how to get it out. I think if we put a log underneath it there, it should work, or if we pull it, it should work. I'm not super worried about it, uh, but we won't know until we start trying to get it out how stuck it really is because, you know, that's water, it's a creek, it's pretty bad. But I'll see you guys after dinner. All right guys, we're gonna do a little off-road test with the Joy Pop. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna flip. Am I good? Oh, I'm gonna roll it down. Okay, that was a little bit uncomfortable. I felt like I was on a huge thing. We're gonna try climbing one of these hills. Oh, all right. This is one of the easier obstacles too. There's a lot more difficult ones in the back. We're gonna try next. This is the next obstacle. If you look out the front, you can kind of see how steep it is, maybe out the side. Hang on, oh, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a pretty amazing off-road machine, even though it's like a family minivan, but we're getting into some serious stuff out here. This one, this next obstacle we're about to hit is gonna be really scary. This is the next obstacle. This one is maybe the biggest hill we have on the property and it's so steep. It's taller than the vehicle. We're gonna see if we can climb it. All right, here we go, starting the climb. Oh my gosh, I'm leaning back like a spaceship. Oh, 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 okay, I need to, be a little bit better, I almost stalled. Here we go, one false swoop. Oh my gosh. We made it to the top. The next step is to go down and it's so steep. Oh my gosh, Matt. I feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff. Does it look like that from down there? Oh my gosh. All I'm saying is if this little van can climb this monster of a, it looks like a wall. From my perspective, what? Oh, oh, I stalled it, Matt. <laughs> Guys, we are back. It's an hour later. We're looking for it. And we found it in the woods. <laughs> it looked like I think it sunk further. I think it sunk further. Oh, no. That angle looks bad. We that might have troubles so getting bad. it out. Oh my god. Wait, dude. did it slide further? It's so sunk in there. Wait, guys, no it might have slid further in. Oh no, we might not get it out. It's also a lot colder out right now. Right here, dude. Or at least we found a tow hook. All right, guys. Well, the plan that we got, guys, is we got a bunch of logs and we were hoping we could situate these underneath the tire and just let it walk its way out. But I think it's sunk deeper. Careful, it's wet down there. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's no way. 
dude, it's sunk right here. No. Oh. So it's the engine's resting on the ground. Really? Oh my god. I hope I didn't damage her. I thought I just parked it in here just nicely. Dude, I, there's no way it's getting out of here. <laughs> The There's angle, no way. The angle from when we were pulling up, it looked like it was a sinking Titanic. It's so bad. Oh my gosh, guys, I, uh, I'm a little bit worried. This is the first time Matt's ever seen it. I'm glad this is the first time you've seen it. So cool. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm glad this is the this is your inaugural uh, way of. Oh my gosh, I just barely fit. In. I can't even get my foot onto the clutch pedal. Here's Look. The key. I can't, I can't even get my foot to the clutch pedal. I knew you weren't going to fit. I barely <laughs> I fit. fit. I can't even get my hand in there. I'm literally stuck. I'm not even I'm stuck right now. Uh, all right, Matt's stuck and the, the <laughs> Joy Pop is stuck. stuck. There we go. And it is, in is fact, called a Joy Pop. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's no way. You hear that click, though? Yeah. Wait, what was that? Is it dead? All right, guys, here it goes. I'm scared. Oh, it, that was easy. It went right up and over. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hit on this one though. This is gonna be too steep. Dude, this thing is insane. I don't think the gator can climb that. Wow. Okay. That is hype. This thing is just unbelievable, guys. I am just I feel like it can like there's nothing it can't do. And the craziest part is it it's not an off-road machine. It's not like a Jeep or something. It's just a like family minivan from the 90s. It's supposed to be a daily driver and it's for your family. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, Japan has got the coolest stuff. I'm very impressed with it. All right, and it does fit across the bridge. And if I just line up the one side, as long as I don't hit, we can just go right across. First gear. Yeah! <laughs> Minivan across the bridge, let's go! <laughs> All right, from the distance, going down this, nice and slow, okay. Oh man, this it doesn't look possible. I feel like I'm gonna hit my bumper. There's just, it just doesn't seem like it should be able to do that. That is just crazy. I don't know why it's able to do that, but it does. It's so sick. I think we'll get it out. I think we just need logs. I think we just need logs. No, there's no way. Yeah, we just it's need logs. So, so. Wait, well, let's try it. Wait, wait, keep it running. Hang on. I think we'll get it out with a single log. I don't know, but here, give it a little bit of movement. I love. I, let me just point out, I love how I can just see the wheel, it's underneath it. Yeah, you're it's sitting on the right wheel. There. All right, go ahead and roll. Oh, it's it's, it's about to accept it. <laughs> right, I need one out. in the back now, hang on. You don't think it's just gonna walk out? No. Well, yeah, for now. I just need the right piece. We have all these logs in here. Did you see this button? Oh yeah, the light. It's so you can hold your receipts up to it or something. You can That's read. That's so cool. I love Japanese cars. All right, Matt's freaking out in there. We gotta get this thing out. It's stuck. Well, let me just push it then. Okay. I need more of a wedge shape, I think. You sure you don't want to go get a car? I think if we had a wedge shape, we'd get it. Let's just try. We have all the logs here. Okay. Well, let me take a look at. This is this is hard to get out of. Well, in this position. But it's it's so sick. It's so sick. Can I open this? Yeah. It's oh so much room. God. It's ridiculous. There's so much room here, but not the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> and it and it turns into a bed. We did it I earlier. Know. Yeah, I, I remember reading. It's just like the CRV. Me. It's so sick. Dude, I love this thing. This is the new strategy. We got the tow rope. We're hooking to the frame and we have a huge F-250 Platinum. That should be enough to pull her out. So where are you going to attach to, Matt? Uh, I'm looking for some part of the subframe or... What about just that hook? I don't think it's gonna take much. I think we're gonna come right out. The brake is off. I mean, it's literally just sitting. Neutral, brake is off. It's ready to roll out. Yeah, I don't think we need this guy anymore. That didn't do anything anyways. This will be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping we get the little joy pop out. We'll see. It's a little sushi roll looking marshmallow. Yep. All right, there you go. A little bit of tension. Uh, let me turn the wheel. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it started in the direction. I feel like that might help a bit. It is unlocked. Okay, okay here we go, guys. Let's hope, see if this works. We have it just looped around, just tension really holding it. And she's out. It definitely put a little bit of tension on it. I could feel the force. I could definitely feel the force. 
I'm pulling it. I was just, I wasn't even, I was just idling. I can, I can <laughs> feel off. the tension just pulling this poor thing out. I'm hoping it's okay. You can see where it fell, right in this little crevice. Is there any damage though? We sat right on that. I don't even think there was damage done, guys. I think we just barely sat in there so gently. No damage whatsoever, at least from where it landed. That was there. I mean, it just barely sat its way in. Yeah, that's good. Pulling out, I could feel that there was tension. Like I could just feel the car just like I could, you really? could see it, like just under tension. I was like, oh, oh no, and then, and then all of a sudden it just popped up. There, you can see here how it was like, and then it just popped just up, wedged into the dirt there. Yeah, and it basically drove over a cliff. I reversed <laughs> over it. I didn't even see it, and just fell <laughs> yeah. in this thing. It's bad. All right, well, let's see if she still drives straight. Let's make sure she still like starts up and runs. All right, so far so good, but we are basically out of gas. Enough of the Joy Pop. This one was the first, but I didn't stop there. I got more. Over here is an even smaller one. And uh, let me give you a little look on this one. Check this out on the inside. So even though this thing is smaller, the amount of space in here is huge. And when we took this shopping for the secret gaming room with the seats folded down, we got a lot of stuff in here and on the roof. I'm going shopping for another car. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I just have to. And these aren't just any other cars. They're really special cars. And we're gonna go there and go uh, see if we like any. We're going to a very special place. I'm taking control of the credit card. This is one of those videos. <laughs> we are armed and loaded. What is this? I literally have no idea where we're going. <laughs> now I see we have a wad of cash. It. We got cash. <laughs> we have all of this money just in case I really like a car. <laughs> Yo, how funny would it be if we went back and someone stole the house? Wait, is that it? Yo, look at what? this. Someone's doing it right now. That's someone's house and they put it on a trailer. That's amazing. How funny would it be if Ryan got his house or whatever and I literally stole it and he comes back from the grocery store and his house is gone. I literally picked it up and moved it. I mean, apparently it's possible. That's insane. I've never seen that. It's crazy because that's half the house and so what they do is they piece it together. Is that only half? They sliced half, it. So yeah. you get to cut the house down the center, put it on two trucks. And here's some other pieces too. I think that's like the foundation bits or something. That's crazy. That's what we need to buy. I want to steal someone's house. Yeah. All right, we're pulling up. I can see him out front. I hope they're open. In. They got a bunch of awesome cars. Check it out behind that truck. Wait, I don't even see it. Where is it at? Oh, is that, look at that little red thing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what is that? It's smaller than the van, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's two more little white trucks. What? Little service campus truck. Oh, no way. It's a Subaru Sambar. Oh, <laughs> they also have pools. <laughs> so I want to see this one because it's like the van I have, but fancier. That is so bougie. It's like a Buddhist type monk. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And it's like a beautiful turquoise. What is this? Ah, this thing is a, I'm looking at it. Honestly, it feels a bit worn out. I really want him to explain to me what this is back here, this lamp. We've seen a couple of vans. I already have a van. I kind of want that other one. But this one is so cool because I don't even know what this thing is. It's like a van something hybrid. It's so small. This color is so retro. It's so cool with the wood paneling. Dude, let's go. So far we're in luck because that's actually the cheaper one. So yeah. you wanted that one, but that one's cheaper. So hey, we like it better. Starts good. Even the steering wheel is retro. It's like real wood. I know. <laughs> All right, so it's automatic. So Elena can drive it. AC's blowing cold. Cold AC too. This one might be the move. I don't know. Let's see if we can test drive it. These are all limited edition, one time produced. Wait, there's also a. Well, let's test reverse real quick. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Transmission's reverse good. Feels good. But then there's also a L. Uh, low gear probably. That's first gear. That's just first. Yeah. Yeah. The beep for reverse. I wonder if that's like outside too. Oh, we have rear wipers. This is too modern. It has like everything. This is like a fancy car. I like this one. I want to definitely test drive it. But this one is ridiculous. It's called the Midget Number Two. The Midget My Two. Don <laughs> you gotta pronounce that. <laughs> and the best part about it, I don't know if you've seen this yet, Hunter, but look at the cab. Does it have a roll cage? Something ridiculous. Look how many seats. <laughs> There's one seat. <laughs> one seat. This is for the painter. He puts his paint bucket in the back. And then he gets in the car and goes. Yeah, I don't know exactly what these are used for because it doesn't make any sense. It could just be two seats, but yeah, it's a little one-seater. The blue one looks sick. This is for sure smaller than the van because the height is small. It's got a hood seat. 
cooling it down. Drag racing cars have yeah, those. Yeah, that's so sick. Cool. We're good? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Oh, we're moving. Oh, so cool. <laughs> is it power steering? It feels like it is, actually. I can't wait for the turbo to kick on. I know, right? I just want to hear it oh, like, yeah. whistle. <laughs> so in love with this car. So <laughs> much. Oh, no. And take off. Let's hear the turbo. I can hear it. <laughs> Super fast. But you can hear the turbo, so I'm satisfied. I think you need to buy it. <laughs> I feel like this thing will do uh, highway speeds no problem. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Flat out speed roll. I'm trying to find things that we can negotiate off the price. 500 bucks for this, but that's it. Like, it's kind of like really nice in here. <laughs> it's so cool. We're going so fast. It's not a Tesla, but it's close. On back in. I love it. I love this thing. I'm just like, I'm really attracted to the truck. The vans are just so rare to come by. This I've never seen. I don't even know what it's called. I don't know if I'll ever see another one. So this one's sold. I have to get this. Up next, we got the blue van. Let's go for a test drive and see how this one, this one does. It feels like the engine's really strong, so I think it's gonna be fast. All time four wheel drive. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, I can drive a manual, but I think purposely he gets manual so nobody else can drive him. <laughs> they only, basically only come in manual. It's amazing yeah. another one. True. I like this one better than that white van already. <laughs> uh, no AC. That can get brutal. Summertime. There we go. Oh. Sounds more like a bus engine. Yeah, this one drives like a diesel. The ship's nice. Look at the cars passing us. <laughs> Look at this truck passing us to our left. Hey, wait up, guys. A semi truck is about to pass us. <laughs> I'm full <of> throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, faster! We're getting past. We're shaking a lot, and I just heard a belt squeal. Yeah, something ain't right with this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the horn's good on it. Only 60. Last time we were going 100 on this easily. Kilometers per hour. Yeah, 100 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. We're about to hit 70. We'll roll this window up. Oh, this is a lot of work. 75. Oh, 80. Yeah, we're not gonna, this thing is slow. All right, we're pulling back in. Any final words on this vehicle? Uh, I was more hyped about it until I test drove it. 73 for that one, which we should talk him down if we do that. And the red one was cheaper at like 65, I think, something like that. Oh no, he's, he's getting some money out of the vault. What are you doing? So Carter just jumped on a call over there. I wanna check out this truck. This thing looks crazy. It's got this automatic dumping bed. Like this is so cool. Like why don't we have these things? Why don't we have these things in the United States? It had to be imported. All of these had to be imported from another country. So this one is my favorite. It's literally the cheapest one here and that's why it only costs $5,000. And I think it's perfect because I could stick the hoverboard literally right here and cruise around the new Team Roar property just fine. Let's see if Carter will buy me one of these as an early Christmas present. <laughs> Yeah, right. I do wonder if these shoes come with the car. I'm gonna have to ask, because that's gonna be a deal breaker for me. Luckily, they sell pools here too, not just exotic cars. So, that being said, let's go pool shopping. Whoa, yep, that's some good looking water. I think I'll take it. <laughs> Carter, add this to my Christmas list. Here we go, guys. Whoa. dollars drop it on the table. I'm gonna say, hold it, don't sell it. I'm gonna be back when I have more time. <laughs> All right, guys, it's uh, another day. I'm back out at the bank. I got my backpack. I'm gonna go in, try to get some cash so we can make another purchase for uh, another one of these crazy cars. Let's see if it works. And boom, just like that, we picked up 15 grand. That is gonna be some fun. We're gonna better convert that into uh, at least one new car. So we're back here and we're looking at, you know, all the different vans. We had to, I just test drove this one again and that blue one out there we test drove. But this is the one that I'm gonna take home. It's just so awesome. It's so silly, it's so funny, and it's really fast. It's turbocharged, it's got a lot of room, so I'm definitely going on this one. So I'm gonna go inside the shop right now, and uh, you know, I got my money in the bag. Let's just go buy it. And in the next clip, I'll be uh, driving this thing. Check it out, guys. I'm a proud owner of a new car, and not just any car, one of the most ridiculous little funky turbocharged three door cars in the world. I can't wait to take this thing home, surprise Liz with it, and give you a little bit of a better tour once we get it home. I can show you all of this thing. But first, I gotta go drive it. Can't wait. We made it home. We're going down the driveway right now. My mom's home, so she'll be the first one to see it. I bet she'll have a really cool reaction. I think she's gonna love this thing. She wanted to come with us. We could squeeze all of us.
all five of us in here. Oh yeah, you got a horn? Oh, that sounds so good. That is so adorable. Oh my god, I love it, cute. Oh, look at the new little car. It's got like paneling on the side. Oh my goodness. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's nice. It's so little. Wow, this is adorable. Oh my god. This is so cute. <laughs> oh wait, I can't drive on this side. You gotta go on the other I side. Go on the other side. Oh my god. I love the little paneling. Yeah. Looks like Cooper likes it too. Uh -oh. It's automatic. It's automatic? Yeah. How'd you get that automatic? Upgrade. Should I give it a try? You wanna drive it? Okay, Fox, come on. Come on, let's go for a car ride. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I can't believe it's automatic. Look how tiny the, pe the pebbles are. Yeah. This is too small for you, Carter. Yeah, that's cool. Look how much room you have. It's perfect for me. All right, first test drive. Just around the block. All right, how do we turn it on? Just like a regular car. Drive. Yeah. Is that a horn? Oh, it's got a little horn. <laughs> it's got a horn. You're good to go. Here we go. Are we going to find this pebble? Woo! Oh my gosh, this is a dream. This is, <laughs> this is it. It's so funny. Cooper, this is our kind of car. This is your little like mail getter. Oh, it's going to some mail. All right, we're all squeezed in. Not really squeezed. This thing's got so much room in here. It's shocking. It's very cozy. I have so much room in front of my knees. Very I can't do. extend my legs all the way. This would be perfect for me to take home to Virginia. Here's Hunter and his reaction. Oh I got God. it. Dude, it's the Turbo. Is that the official name? Turbo R, baby. It's the wagon. Let's go. I'm hijacking that. Look at this thing. It's fast. Yeah. I know. Is it faster than the uh, oh, fast it's part? It's super fast. We got the Joy Pop next to the wagon. All right. The Joy Pop looks awesome. All right. We road trip the two tiny vehicles. And to save on parking, we squeeze them both in the same parking spot. <laughs> Just barely fits. That's awesome. I didn't think it was gonna fit, but it did. We're here at Walmart. We have 10 minutes to spend $1,000. You guys ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. 10 minutes on the timer. Let's go spend money. Woo! Let's go. Oh my gosh. We did it. We spent $1,000 at Walmart in 10 minutes. It's unbelievable, we got it all in. Three now let's cars. get back home. Carter, where am I supposed to squeeze in? What the heck is this? I can't fit. You can fit. What am I supposed to do? Wait, don't start it. Hold on. Andrew, just climb on the roof. Okay. All right, back to the house. Here we go. Oh. Hang on, Andrew. Okay, careful. Woo! This is awesome, dude. Woo! Andrew, how you doing up there, buddy? Oh my God. Ah! Did you make it? Are you still up there? Oh yeah, I'm here. Dude, this is the best season of the whole car. This is so that fun. was crazy. Now let's go build this thing. It's gonna be amazing. Here at Team Roar, we like to work smart and hard. Open it up, boys. We're gonna bring the groceries in as close as we can so we don't have to make a bunch of trips. All right, here we go. Straight into the house. Every man's dream. Here we go. Oh. We are in the house. Oh, a little spool up on the turbo just to climb that. I refuse to make two trips. There we go, work smart team RAR. Time to unload. Woo -hoo! We gotta load it up, we have an assembly line. Check this out, SpongeBob goes up to Andrew and then goes up to Matt. And then from Matt into the gaming room and we're on to the next, we got Spider-Man. Oh man, we are going on. Kind of a last minute little sunset adventure here. Sunset is over that way. It's pretty much already set, but we have just enough light to go get muddy. We're gonna get stuck. We're gonna take the van and Hunter's swamp ATV, which is like an absolute swamper. And we are going to the back country of the Team Rar property. As you guys know, the Team Rar property is 110 acres. So it has room for literally everything out here. And we're still haven't even explored all the corners of it, which is crazy. And we're going down the main driveway right now. 
as we go through the main gates. We're going out past the main gates. And we're gonna turn over, oh, hang on. This over here is the warehouse district because we got one warehouse, two warehouses, three warehouses, and a monster truck. <laughs> oh man, I love the monster truck. Now I would love to take that one. That would be a dream come true. It's too big to fit in the woods. Our trails aren't big enough. But anyways, we go through the warehouse district, around the corner like this, and we enter the Enchanted Forest. The Enchanted Forest, we have a trail system starting here. And we are cruising, we got Hunter behind. Rocking and we rolling, oh my gosh. Okay, this used to be muddy. It's not that muddy anymore. Muddier in the winter for sure. Oh, hold up, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, this mud is not good. All right, let's see how far he gets. We are now in the woods, he's gonna get stuck so fast. All right. We're gonna have to just rock and roll through it, guys. Here we go. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. This is deep for me. I don't know how he's doing it. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, we are st uh, We made it. We're good. We are 100% good. Not an issue at all. All right, this is no problem for Hunter's ATV, but for this old Japanese minivan, it's a little difficult, but honestly, Oh, I scraped for the first time ever. I mean, we're still just crawling through. It's honestly amazing what this thing can do, guys. Oh, he's slipping in the mud. Oh, this is really bad. I'm gonna turn left, probably call it a day right here. I'm gonna go on foot for the rest of today's adventure. I'm not getting this stuck tonight. We're gonna get you stuck. It's amazing what this thing was able to go through. Yeah, that was pretty sick. I mean, it's like snow. It's just cruising through it. Yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah. It's honestly not even muddy. I love that little bit. It's so sick. Yeah. Here's what I wanted to show you guys. It's muddy. I want to see what Hunter's ATV can do. All right. Don't splash me, but let's see what you got. Awesome. Wow, it's literally foaming like chocolate milk. Hey, oh, hey! <laughs> oh, he's gonna splash me. I don't trust him. It's like chocolate milk, guys. It smells really weird. I, oh, it smells worse over here. Cool. I think it gets worse again up here. It gets worse, right? It doesn't matter at all. This thing just crawls through everything. I just told Hunter to go as fast as he can through it and see if we can splash all the water out so we can try to dry this out. The only reason why it's so muddy is we came down here during the swampiest part of the winter and we made these ruts that's collecting water so we kind of, it's swampier than it should be. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I think she's gonna blow. That's great. Let's go back to that deep one up here. Go through it fast. All right, go for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Yo. That was awesome. Yeah, we gotta get all of this mud out. You gotta go through it a few more times. Do a couple laps on it. Here he goes. See if we cleared out all the water. Well, not, it looks better, I think. Oh! Whoa, where's he going? He's going crazy. I mean, this is the mud, guys. It's dark, but this is what I'm trying to show you. Pretty crazy stuff. As long as I don't get splashed, I don't care. Whoa! Oh my gosh. That was a good splash. These Japanese cars are absolutely tiny, but let me tell you, I have one that's even smaller, way smaller. Let me show you what this thing is and what it can do. Oh my gosh, we have a huge delivery. Okay, it's here already. How's it going? All right, so Matt, right now Matt is driving like the world's biggest forklift. This thing is huge, way overkill for this box, but so we got, so let's use it. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it, get it, get it. Hate means I do something right, right. So I'ma let him, I let him. Yeah, I'ma let him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let him, I let him. I hit the nail on the head, yeah, yeah, I'ma let him. All right, mission accomplished. The box is in the garage. Yes, the unboxing has started. Cannot wait to see what's inside this huge box. 
Carter was in the box. Oh my. Whoa. We're starting to see it. Look at that color right there. Candy apple red. Look at that paint. Wait, that's like quality. Why does this look so familiar? What else came on this metal crate? Man, this is gonna be pretty quality. Look at the rims. Oh my. All right, go ahead and lift it up, boys. Tires are coming out. Tires yes. Are coming out. Look at, oh wait, there's a screw in this tire. That is not good. No, because that might be a piece we need. And where is the rest of it? And that could have fallen through the crate. That's not good. <laughs> nice drop test. Yeah, Woo! Dude, that finish looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks really good. Wait, there's an extra tire. Yeah. yeah. It's a five-wheeler. Five-wheeler. Man, this thing is so sick. Is that a gear indicator? Just in case you lose track of which three speeds you're in. Yeah, this thing is this actually... This exhaust. No way. Look at that. Maybe it's got a dirt bike engine. Look at that. It's got like a little resonator. So little we don't button. even know what kind of engine it has, but it is under the seat. Dude, look at the brakes. Look at the brakes. They're like legit brakes. Dude, Dude this thing is quality. Brakes. Oh man, look at this. It's crazy under here. Look at all these gears and stuff. Oh dude, that's a motorcycle engine. Really? Yeah. It's literally a no Honda like engine. No it's way. No way. Yeah, I can see the fins. Yeah. This thing is gonna be so it's sick. Gonna, it's just like a uh, native. We're gonna need a whole fleet of these. We get them in every color. They got blue, red, black. Oh, this is gonna be such a daily. Just when you thought the little vehicles couldn't get smaller, we get this. How's the build going? Great. Nothing lines up. Everything lines up. <laughs> Did you get red because no it's problem. the fastest color? It's the vloggiest, most viral thumbnail color. That's why I got it. There we go. got it. It's got a little battery it came with? Of course. Electric start. Easy yeah. start. It's got yeah. headlights, it's got turn signals. You guys are starting to get the idea of what this thing looks like, but uh, as it turns out, the assembly process isn't easy task. It's not like, you know, unbox it, put the tires on, gas in, and go. It's like, I mean, they're putting the steering column and the shifters on, and Matt's doing the, uh, Defibrillator under there, getting that all lined up. <laughs> I got, I got the accelerator. Good to tow car. Do you even have any oil for this thing? I don't know. We need oil. Yeah, we need oil. And that flux capacitor. If that doesn't get bolted on right, it's, then it might. Carter, it's got fuses, mm. all this stuff. It might like, have a non-transactional jiggle. It shift. It's just like a motorcycle. Down shift. Down shift. Yep. Uh, shift. Uh, shift. All right, guys. So we're done building it. And we're ready to test it, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up in the air. Should we test it in the air? Uh, or sample? should we take it down? <laughs> See, it's still off the ground on jack stands. It might be cool to try it in the air. Oh, the lights turn on. No way. They tried to turn signal. Does turn signal? Wow. Oh, it's just like the uh, it just like the green Hummer. What? They just don't work. <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna get in it up in the air? Yeah, why not? Okay. Ready? I guess so. <laughs> It sounds pretty good. Oh. It sounds like a motorcycle. I get that choke. gas? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably important. It All right. You ship it with gas. Though. Might need some gasoline. The brake does thing. crank, yeah. though. That's all we were checking. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. It has a little gas tank back here. Portable. A spare tire. Okay, we got our portable fuel station right here. Ooh. Premium gasoline going in. Oh, careful. That looks pretty full. That's crazy. That's a tiny oh. tank. That's such a small tank. It's gonna be running out. There he is. He's excited. He put the same color shirt as the Jeep. You gotta see it. I can't wait to show you. Woo! What do we got here? It's another Bailey mobile. Oh. Wait, it's got a horn? Is this stick shift? Oh. No, 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 send me. Send me it's automatic. Like the blue bike. Oh, you gonna get tested, quarters? Yeah, I haven't even sat in this thing yet. Oh, well, I've been Fire, fire me up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just the seat? Brake pedal, gas pedal, and a shifter because it has three forward speeds and neutral and reverse. And even a gear indicator. And it tells you in a gear and apparently a... It's got reverse too. Wow. Oh, so you have to start it in neutral? You can start it in any gear as far as I know. I don't know. Oh, it runs really good. <laughs> Guys, look at this. You can literally... That's reverse R. Give it a little bit of gas. This kind of looks like a dream come true. Get this shift right here. Neutral. First? First. No, first no, get, no. Wait, how'd you get a first? Down or yeah. first? It's like the slot machine in Vegas. Woo! All right, this is our first time riding. Yeah. Woo! This thing is so sick. Exactly. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I think this looks pretty dope. It has amazing features, has lights, has mirrors. Look at this.
with the Star Wars machines, but now we need to see how this thing is going to do off-road on the Team Rar trail system. So we're going to uh, the Pacific Trailhead, and we're going to go out to the field. On track, now we go way up. Don't be used as easy as a layup. Working late, stay up, stay up. Counting all the way up. Reverse for the first time? Oh, I can't believe it has reverse. Our smallest 4x4 four four next to our biggest, guys. Carter's Life. This is a an amazing addition to our collection. I'm super hyped about it. Boom, look at the lineup. What do you think? It's pretty good? Yeah, it looks cool. Looks better, like a golf cart cut in half. Better than the hog? Better than the hog? You said it first. I mean, it, it has somewhere <laughs> to store stuff. Oh, look at that suspension. See, that's what's great about this thing. It literally got good suspension. The boys think this thing is dope, but the question is, do girls think it's dope? So we're off to the Team Raw house and we're gonna see if Liz thinks this thing is cool. Made it to the Team Raw house, let's go get Liz. I think she's inside and uh, she's got no idea about this. I think she's gonna love it, but comment down below. Will she like it? AKA, will girls like this Jeep or not? Okay, Liz. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at this thing, isn't this so cool? What is it? It's the world's smallest Jeep. Can I drive it? Yeah, it's gas powered and has three gears. It's the same motor as your dirt bike, it, and it's got um, a shifter. Whoa, wait, is it not automatic? It's semi like your dirt bike. Oh. And it tells you what gear you're in, and it has neutral and reverse. Whoa. All right, give it a try. You're already in second. There she goes. Let's go, Liz. Look at her go. Do you like it? Yeah. This is a regular brand new Jeep and over here is the world's smallest gas powered Jeep and this thing is tiny. It's got two seats, it's two wheel drive with lock diffs on the back, it's got a three speed transmission and shifter, a gasoline engine, electric start, even has working headlights and turn signals. Making this thing basically like a real Jeep, just super small. Believe it or not, this thing actually gets 100 miles to gallon in a one gallon gas tank. So give or take, I should be able to make it if I'm good on gas mileage all the way 100 miles to the beach, which is gonna be amazing. And I got this thing on Amazon Prime. Let's get started with this road trip and let me show you how cool this mini Jeep is. Check it out, electric start, when it starts right up. Woo! And to prove this thing is actually a Jeep, let me show you what it can do off-road. That little Jeep is gonna do what normal Jeeps can do. It has to be able to pass all these tests. Test number one, we're gonna see if it can go in the water. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's see if Carter can keep up. Oh boy, this is scary. And look, look, here's the water. Oh my gosh, we are in it. Well, I don't know, Andrew. I don't even know if your Jeep's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> We're tilting a little bit. This is scary. Andrew's trying to show me that this is a test that Jeeps can do. I don't even think his full-size Jeep can do it. This is a brand new Jeep, and I do not want to roll it over into the water. Oh, you're starting to sink. Oh my gosh. Oh, your tires are slipping. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, you're sinking. Get out of there. I might need some help. Uh-oh. We're tilted pretty far. Oh my gosh, guys. Jeep test number one is off to a uh, little bit of a scary start. <laughs> we gotta save passengers out of the Jeep because look, guys, we're about to sink it in the lake. This is brand new. Andrew, you can't lose it. I can't roll it now. This thing is brand new. And he just got it detailed like 45 minutes ago. Here we go, rescue squad. We got a big Ford truck to rescue the little Jeep. Wow, I really dug out the mud here. My feet are sinking deep. Matt, we need a rescue. The Jeep got stuck. I see that. The mini Jeep's gonna be able to do this just fine. I can't wait to show you guys. Andrew, I think you should trade it in for a mini. I can't believe this. It's like a $70,000 electric Jeep. It's really cool. Couldn't even do a little bit of squishy mud. We got the Ford truck with the strap trying to get Andrew out. Let's get a little tension on it first. Make sure that hook is hooked. Oh my gosh. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped this entire time. I mean, it's a brand new car. I would be freaking out too if it just rolled over into the water. Wow, it was all the way up to the black trim. Just about to go inside your doors. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show a real Jeep how it's done because this little Jeep can go anywhere. Let's go! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to do even close to what this thing did. He's definitely going swimming. Guys, comment down below if you think the little Jeep can go nowhere a real Jeep can. Here we go, into the water. I don't wanna go too deep. This is where Andrew got stuck. Yeah! No way! What? Oh! 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 Come on! 
my little Jeep. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. And that thing's only two-wheel drive. I can't believe that. My backpack's full of water. No, not the Team Rarberg! But we still made it. Yes! Success! Little Jeeps are clearly better than big Jeeps. Woo! On to test number two. Test two is the hill climb with a twist. Andrew with the normal size Jeep, you're up first. I'm a little nervous after that last test, but let's give it a shot. All right, Jeep Rubicon, let's go. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, that's a steep angle already. This is really the steep. The water is pouring out. Wait, there's water in it? Uh, A little bit of water. Okay, this is the hard part because it's got a hill climb with a bump. Oh, oh. did you hit your frame? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and I think that is a successful pass, but he did uh, drip some water and hit his frame. So let's see if I can do any better. We actually made that pretty easy. That was surprising. Actually, I guess not. That's what Jeeps are supposed to be doing. Time for mini Jeep. Let's go! Yes! Come on, baby! Oh. Yes! Even easier! Yes! All right, Carter, you might have done a little bit better than me on those last two challenges, but this next challenge, there's no way that little Jeep will win it. This next test is going to get us straight into the road trip because we are going out to the street to see what is faster, the real Jeep or the mini Jeep. Woohoo! There's no way that little Jeep is going to be able to keep up with the pace of this big Jeep. Andrew, you're up first for this test. You ready? I think so. All right, send it. Here we go. Getting on the road. And he's off and going. 30 miles an hour. Woohoo! Woo! Easily hit the speed limit there. We're cruising. No way Carter's gonna hit that speed. I gotta say guys, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this test because this Jeep is really small. It does have blinkers and everything, but I think if anything, his Jeep is definitely faster. Only one way to find out. So far, so good! Yeah! I think that might be a police officer. Oh no! here and wait for Carter. We made it pretty far. It'll probably take his little Jeep a little while to catch up. Holy stop your God. God. Come on. Jeez, all right, so Carter's taking forever. I mean, this is supposed to be a high-speed test. Where is he? He should be here by now. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? My heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. Yo, Andrew. Where are you, dude? I've been waiting forever. Did you see that cop on the side of the road? Uh, Undercover cop, he turned his lights on, he chased me, I made a run for it, I turned off, and I'm in the middle of the woods. What should I do? Book it through the back way, back to our house. <sighs> okay, all right. I'll circle back and meet you there. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't really know where I am right now, but there's no way I'm going back on the road with this thing because I'm sure the cop is out there looking for me. Let's see. Oh. Is that the cop car? Definitely do not try this at home. I think it's coming after me. Am I getting pulled over right now? I made it out, guys. We are back at the Team Rar house. This is great. Scary guys, I've never been pulled over before. Oh jeez. Here, quick, put put the camera down. Don't don't let the cops see. Son, do you know uh, why I pulled you over? Sir, no, I have no idea. I'm looking for a mini little Jeep. Have you seen one? Well, I mean, that wouldn't be me. This is a big Jeep. I'm looking for one a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a tan color. Mm. You saw one or no? Uh, I can't say I've seen any Jeeps around here. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've yeah. got a job to do. All right, good luck, All officer. Right, good, good luck looking for that little Jeep. Oh, Andrew's calling me. Andrew, what's up? Cops are at the house. I repeat, the cops are at the house. You gotta get away from the property. And they said they're specifically looking for a tan mini Jeep. What, what should I do? I'm at the house. Meet me down by the garages. I have a plan. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Andrew said to come around this side. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally running from the cops. Woo. 
Feels like I'm playing an actual game of Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm in the spray paint booth. So I don't know what to do now, Andrew. I play a lot of GTA. With you running from the cops, you're probably at about three stars. Three stars? Andrew, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There's cops out there looking for me. If you just spray paint it a different color, how about blue? It might take your stars down. You go down to zero stars. It always works. Trust me, I've done it. Putting video game this to the test? Let's do it. Wow, not bad. I think it looks great. It looks sick. And now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. It looks awesome. Where are we going? Come on, we gotta test out the GTA myth. Dude, you know how much I weigh? I'm almost like 200 pounds. Don't underestimate Mini Jeep. Let's okay. go. This is it guys, we are testing a video game myth and that is if you paint your car, you will lose all of your wanted stars. We originally had three, let's see if we're back to zero. Here we go! Team Rar just launched brand new shirts, guys. These are amazing. The one I'm wearing right here is the green, and Andrew has got the blue and all. We also have them in pink and orange. Go to teamrar.com at the end of this video and go get one for yourself before they sell out. Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, the intake fell off. What? That's not good. The mini Jeep is quite literally falling apart. We've probably drove about 20 miles since the start of the today's video. The goal is 100 miles, but we're also nowhere near the beach. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think we're about to make a pit stop. I know who to call. Where Carter? Hello? Hey, Liz. Hey, Carter. We were trying to go all the way to the beach. The cops are following us, but we're going to have to see if we can get it started. If we can, we're probably going to come to your house for a pit stop. Wait, what? Okay, great. I'll see you soon. Bye. We gotta see if it will get started, Andrew. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Liz! You okay? Yeah. Oh you hurt? I'm good. good. What happened to your hand? It's a long story, but we went out the road. I passed a cop. I got pulled over, but I didn't stop. I made a run for it, and I outran the cops. So I'm a fugitive. Then they pulled Andrew over. Painted this so we camouflage, and we made it here. But then Carter, it broke down. And yeah, we're trying to make it to the beach, but it's not looking good. Carter, you can't make it to the beach. It's getting dark. I know. I'm afraid, honestly, at this point, that we're probably like almost out of gas, and this thing is not looking good. <laughs> it smells smoky in there. It doesn't smell right. I don't have a beach for you to off road on, but why don't you just test it out in these big piles of dirt I have? Plus, you can do whatever you want because all of this is my land so no cops that sounds good let's ride this thing until it breaks <laughs> you ready liz i'm ready oh, right oh this is crazy i feel like we're on planet mars oh. Oh. i don't know if we can make it is this thing like four wheel drive no oh, oh it's so crazy. steep oh. oh there's no way all right here we go oh. Carter's life. That's all we got for today. Comment down below which tiny vehicle I should get next, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Carter's Life. Woohoo!